You've heard of people who make a living through internet auction websites like eBay, but what about those who do so in the virtual world, a world where anything is possible? How different are the risks and what place do corporations have in this new universe called Second Life? Hui Fente reports. An unusual idea is brewing in the heart of Singapore on the 17th floor of this building. We decided to launch a credit card because the economy in Second Life right now is uh, strictly a, almost strictly a cash economy. The card being created and marketed by fund manager Mr. Abrams is only for use online in a virtual world such as Second Life. Life beyond reality. It's not a game because the player doesn't progress from stage to stage. Rather, it's an alternative realm for people like Eileen Sim to live out their fantasies in another skin. These are called avatars. How much money have I spent customizing my avatar? At least about 2,000. 2,000 linden, at least. That's slightly more than 7 US dollars. You see, there's an economy here with its own currency, Linden Dollars. People use this money to buy and sell clothes, stocks and property, just like you would in the real world. But in Second Life, the money earned there can actually be exchanged for real-world currency, US Dollars. One US Dollar is equivalent to 266 Lindens. The crossover between the virtual and real world can take place because real money is invested in this game by advertisers keen to test out their new products. At least one person is already making a living in this virtual world. Germany-based Eileen Graf made her fortune from selling virtual property. I never expected that I would, I would be so successful. I mean, with very low expectation. I think that, oh, if I can, if I can pay for my internet access, so it's good enough. Like Eileen Graf, Ms. Sim and Mr. Abrams are keen to explore the business potential of this virtual world, which is home to nearly 7 million residents. They've raised a few hundred thousand Singapore dollars to fund their virtual credit card business venture because of a firm belief a boom similar to the dot-com phenomena is on the horizon. The virtual world market, we've watched it develop since this, three years ago. So looking at the growth rates, uh, looking at the trends today, we have a strong conviction that it, this is the right time. Large corporations such as IBM and Toyota also have a presence in Second Life. In the case of IBM, it used Second Life to simulate matches from this year's Australian Tennis Open. It was a demonstration of the new heights technology can be pushed to. Analysts like Brian Prentice say that's what the main objective of large organizations will always be confined to, showcasing and road testing products, not money. Of course, when you get that much interest in that many people coming into environment, you're naturally going to have businesses which are going to be saying, you know, look, that's a lot of people. Uh, there's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of eyeballs. Is there something that we can do in terms of commercializing that or figuring out how to extend what we do in a real world environment uh, to the virtual world also? Get set for a whole new set of complications in your second life. Hui Fonte reporting, and that's tonight's program. Bye for now.